be heard in Kuttenberg. Yes! You have to watch out for that. An experienced guard will recognize the sound at once. All right. Have you given me another la Have you given me another one? Nice. Give me that. All right. All right, this is not... Okay, this is... Okay, dude, this is really, really annoying. Just so you know. Okay. And... Uh... Okay. So I've had a night's sleep to get over the fact that I suck at picking locks and to recover some health. But to be honest, I'm not actually over the fact that I suck at picking locks. I don't really have a lot of choice but to accept it because I really don't have any more lock picks with which to practice. My health has returned, which is good. I've got um, a lot of food in my belly, although I think I need to get some more. And I've been running around picking flowers because I'm thinking I can actually sell some of these things and I do need the money. Sometimes it's a little difficult to actually target them. It's on, I know there's one. I know there's one there. It's it's just not quite where I would have thought it should be. Yes, indeed. You know, I can't help but feel that I've done this before in a previous life or two. Yes, indeed. But it, I also thought to myself, can I use this stuff, because I've collected, like, mint and chamomile and poppy. Can I make healing potions? Because that would be useful. Yes, it would. All right, so there's a load of flowers on this side of the house as well. It's a little tricky. They don't sell for much, but they sell for an... Can I actually... Can I... What's that? What is that book symbol? What is that book symbol? I know, I know I've got skill in... God, I can't believe herbalism's my best skill at the moment. In reading, and it's a book symbol. Can I get better at reading by sitting on the, uh, the toilet? I am, aren't I? <laughs> okay, you know what? There's just... Is there no door? Really? Okay, so, so I can sit on the toilet and maybe get better at reading? Don't I actually have to read a book to get better at reading? I don't... Oh, there's a dandelion. So anyway, yeah, oh god, I'm, I'm getting distracted by flowers and toilets. Yes, I am. What was I saying? So anyway, lot picking. Me. Not a natural uh, match made in heaven. No, it's not. I know there's a flower here somewhere. I sort of, I can feel it in my bones. You know what? You know what? Never mind. So I've decided I'm just going to pay him his money off. I'm not going to go and... Where did he go? Has he come back inside? Possibly. Hello? I... Oh. I would like to pay you off. I've got enough coin to pay... Okay. I've got enough coin to pay you back. I've got the money to pay that debt. I have, actually. And I was afraid you had a chamber pot for a head. Um, Hand it over. That job's still going. If Lee enough, I... Sure, I'm on it. Do look like i got a chamber pot on my head. No, I'm not... You, no, no. Unless the executioner goes on holiday for a while and I can go and smash the lock with a mace. Not happening. Not happening. Tell me something about the other millers. Yes, small talk. Can you tell me something about the other millers? There's a couple of other fellows around here in my trade. Woodsick in Kohelnitz and Simon in Sasa. 
Um, Tell me about Wojtek. That's he's young and he hot-blooded, with a short temper. But he's a fine fellow when you get to know him. His heart's in the right place, and he's always willing to lend a helping hand. Unfortunately, he got himself into a feud with that usurer, the merchant Wolfram Pruder. A slimy bastard he is. And now they're sworn enemies. Okay, so Wozniak and the, the merchant enemies. Simon from Sasau. That's a little easier. What about this Simon in Sasau? Sasau. An odd one he is. A loner who don't talk much. But he's as dogged as a hunting hound once he gets his teeth into anything. He won't let go until he sees it through, even if he has to walk over dead bodies. Been there, done that, mate. Um, tell me about you, he says. Tell me something about yourself. There's nothing much to tell. I was born at the mill, I live here, and I'll surely die here. Before I do, I've plenty of work to do, and I hope I live to see peace in this land again. Uh, fair enough. Uh, will you teach me to... P Why would I want him to teach me to... Because knowing my luck, it's going to be something I have to do or else. Can you? Would you teach me something about the uh, milling craft? Like how to get things out of strangers. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Aye, why not? You're handy enough. No doubt you'll master it. Come behind the mill where we won't be seen. God be with you. Um, really shouldn't do this, should I? Quest started. Pickpocket. I go, I go behind the mill, which is this. Isn't it? That's the mill right there. You're not going anywhere. I was going to follow you. I, I guess just in case I ever need to know how to do it, I should probably get some pointers. Okay. Here we go. Right. I'll stand here and pretend I don't know you're there. You try sneaking up behind me without me seeing you and take something from my purse. First, you have to rummage in the purse. The longer you do it, the better chance you have of finding something valuable, but also of getting caught in the act. Should I Once take my arm off? you something you want, you've got to pull it out carefully, but fast enough so I don't notice. Rummage? Try stealing my dagger. It's there. Pull it out fast. Yeah, I'm 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 seeing some some rude jokes there. Okay, but out of curiosity, should I should I, should I you know like like remove the gloves and the body plate and sort of thing? Would that be better? Really? No. What is it? Visibility fifty one. This is better, right? This is bet and the helmet. I should. It's all gone down a little? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is... Okay, so try and steal Peshak's dagger. Okay. Talk and pickpocket. Okay. Why am I whispering? He knows I'm there. What's this? Hold. Uh, oh, I see. And then I let it go. It's going. Pickpocketing successful. What did, what did I pick? What did. Did I get his dagger? No, I didn't. Okay. So. Have I got to wait until it's green or something? Or is it... Oh! Oh, now I've got some... Take it! Take it! What? what? No! Leave! 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 I got it! That's the way. I hardly noticed you were there. I think you're ready to try it out for real. Mm -hmm. Best practice on drunks and sleeping folk. So you don't end up in jail before you even get started. Thanks, Pashek. Yeah. You're welcome. But I'll be having that dagger back now. Damn. Because... Yeah, honestly, I probably could do with it. Because I'm not really very good with the weapon I've got. And I should try and remember to get all my clothes back on. Don't want to be running around without boots on again. I need to get all of this stuff fixed. Okay. Stop using your right hand. Stop using your right hand. Right and left hand fighting. Um. 
So I need to learn the skill of reading first, apparently. But once I've learned it, there are certain places that are better for reading than others. Okay, so sitting on my bed or sitting on the toilet. <laughs> okay, no, that's fair enough. All right. Um, picking pocket. Okay, I think I understand that. Yes, I do. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm about to leave, so... Have you eaten yet? Oh, yes, I have. Yes, it was very good. I, uh, if I say not yet, would she give me food? No, me, no, absolutely not. not no. Yet. Well, try to eat something. A big lad like you needs his strength. Do you have anything? Oh, really? Oh, okay, probably not. She probably didn't give me any more. I'm just, I'm a little low on food, he says. Still having dried meat, bread, a pretzel, and a bunch of wine. But for me, that's barely a snack. So, oh my God, my nourishment's already down it. Right, okay. Hi. Look at you, lover boy. Oh, wait, what? Whoa, okay. Well, I'm a free agent now, but that was a little quick. We just asked about breakfast. Uh, I want to ask about scallops. Yes, I Have do. Have you got a moment? I'd like to ask a few questions about scallops. I don't remember much. A all right. What do you want to know? Oh, good grief. Uh, how did you get me here? Yeah, good question. How did you get me away from scallops? It wasn't easy. So Robard and his men helped load you on a wagon and we harnessed an old nag the bandits had left behind. The soldiers escorted us all the way here. God bless them. All right. What about the bandits? Sir Robard and his men routed them. They killed the few, but the giant who attacked you fled, and Zibishek with him. It won't be safe in Scalitz for a while yet. Why would Zibishek do that? I never thought much of him, but banditry? He was always a nasty piece of work. It doesn't surprise me he joined them. If you knew what he did to me. Tell me. Oh. When those... Cumans, they call them. When the Cumans came, Zibishek pushed me out in front of them and fled. He sacrificed me to save his own hide. That bastard. Right. Well, luckily I happened along. Yes, I saved you. Where's the sword I had? Yeah. You had a sword? It's gone now. Those scum took everything, including your horse. I don't give a damn about the horse. I stole it anyway. But my father forged that sword for Sir I didn't steal it, I exactly. I take it to him. I acquired it I have from to someone who was back. trying to kill me. Well, you can't. Just be thankful you're still alive. No, I'm getting it back. I'm getting it back. My father forged it. It's a bloody good sword. I want it back. I also want to kill the person who tried to hit me with a big weapon. I want to kill the people that were near him. I want to kill the person who killed my father. And if possible, with the sword my father made. So I've got a lot of killing to do. And it all revolves around that sword. So I need the sword. And probably therapy. But I'm going to start with the sword. What happened to the other survivors from Scalitz? They sought refuge in Ratay. And some of the Ratay folk are none too happy about it. And Matthew, yeah. Fritz and Matthias? Johanka? Did they make it? They're alive. I heard Matthias is at the stud farm in Merhoyed. Johanka is in Sassau. And Fritz and Matthew, well, you know them. They're up to no good somewhere. The only trouble they'll be in is of their own making. OK, well, that's good news. What about Sir Radzig? Sir Hanush, he's the Lord of Ratay. He gave his lower castle to Sir Radzig, a place called Perkstein. Which is where I've got to go. Sir Hanush lives at the upper castle. The Scalitz folk have made camp in front of it. All right, that's where I'm going next, actually. And how did you get away from the Cumans after I, you know, saved you, somewhat heroically? I, I'm sort of hoping she doesn't actually remember how it went down. She just remembered I sort of jumped in and went, ha-ha, and then she rode off and didn't see me going, ah! How did you get away from those Cumans? You're wrong. If it hadn't been for you... When they came to the mill, they slaughtered everyone. And kept me for last. After you distracted them, I fled to the mines to find my brother. But he... My brother was dead. But I owe my life and more to you. And I owe mine to you. The scales are balanced. So, okay. That... 
thing with my ear sticking out is bothering me. Enough about scallops. I won't trouble you anymore. Ooh, speech. Let's leave it there. New perk point available. Perk point. Fancy a little war? Yes. Let's get to know each other. Is that a bit too soon? Is that, am I moving in on her a little quick? She might, you know, be thinking, hey, come on, you've only just become single. Mind you, time of war. Mm, gotta move on, gotta keep things moving along, if you get what I'm saying. What are you up to? How would you like to, um, I don't know, come for a walk? A walk? I'd like that very much, but I can't right now, Hal. Give me some time to settle in, will you? If that's what you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not you, Hal. It's just oh. this isn't a good time. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. I got the it's not you line. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. I'm done. I got the it's not you. It's me. It's not a good time. I'm not at a good place. I mean, I get it. There's war and everything. You almost got raped and murdered. But I just got friended. I, I got friended. That was, that was humiliating. Yes, it was. <sighs> Definitely not good. There's an axe over there. I don't think I can take it, and I don't think I should anyway. Right. So, I've paid my debt off. I have paid my debt off, and I'm ready to... Why does it center on scallops? Don't center on scallops. It's raté. This is what this is right. Okay, so I am here. I need to go down the south road past the unexplored place over here and then head towards the gate. Probably just keep keep the castle on my think about it left and go around. And I should find it. Actually, that is a pretty big castle wall, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, before I go anywhere, didn't I? Speech! I, I have a thing, a what, what do they call those? They're perk points. I actually have a perk point. When a trader loses patience with you during haggling, you get one more chance to make another offer. Interesting. Increase your speech level by three when talking to nobles and wealthy people. You can't have the low-born perk simultaneously. Ah, so if I want to get on with the nobles, I take this one. Plus three to talking to commoners. If I want to talk to... Ooh, I don't know. Getting, getting on with high-born people sounds better. Empathetic. In dialogues, you'll see your counterpart stat in skill checks. Minimum level eight. Do, am I competing with people? I should probably check that out, shouldn't I? Speed. Okay, so if I'm getting the gist of this correctly, it probably means that, like, if someone's intimidation stat's high, I might not want to intimidate them, even if I'm good at intimidate. If their standing is high, don't use my standing against them, unless my standing is so much higher than theirs, and so on. So that's... yeah. All right, let's have a... Okay, now, I also have to decide... So I definitely want empathetic, I think. That's, that just sounds really useful. Increase your speech skill when haggling. Oh, this means you... Right, I need, this is a minimum level of eight, so I can't take this now. But I'm wondering whether sometimes it's best to save the perks for these better ones. Merchants will be more willing to buy stolen items. Troubadour. 50% higher reputation when you talk to women. Okay. Plus one speech bonus, so you can persuade them more easily. You can avail of... Bath wenches services for free. You see, I like that one. Increased speech when haggling. I like that one, and I like that. So, like, is it possibly a good idea to save the perk instead of going for, say, highborn nan and getting a bit of a boost against nobles, which would be useful? Save it. Get this one because that's almost certainly useful, and then get these. I mean, I can always get these later. I suppose. Mind you. It depends on how far we get up, doesn't it? I just... I, all right, okay, look. I want that one. I want Troubadour. I kind of want that one. Because this will mean the more I haggle, the more my speech goes up as well. So that that will progress me quicker, which is nice. Get better. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. 
I am tempted to save the perk and go for just empathetic and silver tongues right at the same time. Become a silver tongued <laughs> devil. Yeah. Along with, you know, a world champion flower picker. Oh, as I get better at picking flowers, what do I get? That's. Herbalism, wasn't it? Um, three, right. Uh, I don't have a perk in this, but we've got flower power. If you've got enough fragrant herbs in your inventory, you get a plus two charisma bonus. Oh, that could be useful. Just keep a load of flowers, get some boost to my charisma. Horse nip. If your horse has enough fragrant herbs in its saddlebag, it will shy less. Oh, oh minimum level five. Minimum level 10. Herbs you sell have a 15% higher price. Leg day. Herb picking activity will add experience to your strength stat. To... Minimum level 10. That! That's basically becoming a farmer, isn't it? I mean, just become a farmer. Just get better and stronger the more you pick flowers. Hello. Hi. Do you? I'd give you a snack, but I'm... I'm... Can I, can I hi? No. Okay. You're you're okay with me picking flat I'm picking the sage. I'm picking the sage. Get over it. It's not anybody's. It's it's. Don't start with me. I've had a bad couple of weeks. I think I'm having these flowers because I'm selling them. Okay. I'm selling them. Stop shouting at me. Or I'll. Eat you. Probably get into trouble for doing that. Yes, I would. Are you trying to tell me something? Come quickly. Someone's fallen down a well and needs your help. Oh my god, stop picking dandelions. I need your help. Shut up. I'm picking the dandelions. Leave me alone. Okay, 214 dandelions. I got a few of a few things, but I got a lot of dandelions. And I am now actually overloaded. <laughs> yes, I am. Ooh, and I've picked so many damned flowers up. All right, flower power. This was the plus two charisma if you've got fragrant herbs. This was the horse one. Um... Herbs you sell have a 15% higher price. I kind of want... These two sound like a really good idea for making a ton of money. But plus two charisma's got to help me a little bit with... Does it help with haggling? Does it help with haggling? I don't know whether it helps with haggling. Should I just save up the perks for these or... Oh, you know what? Let's... Do you really want to learn this perk? I do. Charisma 8, yes! I am charming in a flowery kind of way. Yes, I am. Although, God knows I probably need to be. I've kind of ruined the view a bit. I've been picking poppies and dandelions. I, I'm thinking the poppies are more likely to be useful for, um, you know, making potions and stuff. The dandelions. Is there a downside to being overburdened? Like... I can't sprint, but do I get tired more quickly? Oh, my God. Nourishment's gone down. I need to buy some food. I think I actually need to buy some food. Hi. Hi. No, no, no. Hi. Um, let's trade. Will you? Will you? Oh. Oh, no. No, sell. Will you buy things like dandelions? That's what I want to know. Will you buy... Like, all my... Oh, I should... No, I shouldn't use... I shouldn't do that. Is it still selecting the dandelions? I hope so. Okay. Let's see. She has got 485 gold. She can afford this. Go on. I can. I can... S yes. Because I'm going to need all the money I can get to fix my armor, I think, and probably buy a different weapon. Out of curiosity, does she have... No, she doesn't. She doesn't even have food. All right. You know what? Let's sell her... 
can I, can I, should I save some of the stuff? Dandelions, I probably don't need to save all, oh, you know what? No, it's heavy. I mean, five is one thing, the dand, marigold. Oh, marigold for marigold concoction. Oh, no, 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 uh, that. I'm thinking I should keep some of them. But like, like, I'll keep, I'll keep 10 of everything, right? Yes, I'll keep 10 of everything, I think. Okay, so I've made a little bit of extra cash, and I've become a lot better at picking flowers, although apparently not perfect. Um, and of course, a little more charming when carrying flowers. I have, however, unfortunately... Oh, resisted, resisted, resist the urge. I don't have any of them. Oh my god. I do have some of them, but I don't have that many of them. I have, unfortunately, lost three quarters of the day. It's middle of the afternoon. I set off in the morning. I barely met... I'm still doing it. It's just... Okay, 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 okay. okay. I can re I can resist! I can do it! I can do it! I can do it. Yes, I can. Um... Now, I'm, I'm here. I want to go and check what this place is and... Ignore the flowers. Ignore the damned flowers. All right. It's a chicken farm. It's a chicken farm. It's a bath. It's one of the baths. Um... Yes. Okay. Now, I don't... Oh, you guys can clean my clothes. You can't clean my swords, though, can you? I don't think. And I, I can't remember how much money it costs. Um, I'm interested in your uh, services. Let's have a look. So what are you interested in? I'm just uh, heal my wounds, heal my wounds, bathe and laundry, pay for a wench, get a haircut, get a shave. Oh, God, I'm going to need a shave soon. Uh, have a bath, launder my garments. How much was that again? Get myself fixed up a bit. Because I'm about to Have head off to the castle, so maybe washed. if I looked a little... But of course. Money first, though. How much was it again? It was... It's supposed to be ten. It's supposed to be ten. Well, I'm going... Oh, God, my clothes look disgusting. Let's... I'm not giving you that much. And how much are you willing to pay? Let's drop the price a teeny tiny little bit. Like, let's go for nine. Let's go for nine. Let's see how charming I am. Are we agreed? Cause... That's not enough. Oh, come on, I've got flowers on me. I'm charismatic. I'm... Ki oh, she doesn't look happy, does she? Okay. You won't regret spending the money. Ooh, okay. I guarantee it. Right. So... Goodbye. So now I get all clean, and my clothes are all clean, and I'm a little poorer. And that's better than washing myself in there, yeah? Charisma nine. Oh... Uh, Everything does look a little nice. They've laundered my clothes. Yes. Nice. So. Okay. Yeah, I probably should get to the castle as soon as possible. But don't do it. I wonder if picking flowers makes you dirty. That would, that would make sense. We can pick flowers another time. Yes, we can. I've done... I've... I've done enough flower picking. Let's head up here. So we found the bathhouse, and it does look like it could be worthwhile doing that. Pick a few flowers, sell them, make, you know, a few groschen, and then get yourself totally cleaned up before you go and chat to people. Yes, indeed. Now I need to make money to repair my armor. Oh. Oh. Out of curiosity, is, is, is my armor, some of it was stolen, wasn't it? Do you think they've let me off? You would have actually thought they'd notice this when they rescued me. Well, he's wearing a guard uniform. Ah, the sneaky person. Let him keep it, apparently. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Hello? Guard person. Halt. Who are you and where are you going? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Thvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. 
What do you want from his lordship? What makes you think he'll see you? Um, I have to tell Sir Radzik what happened to his sword. Um, oh, I've got plus two on my standard. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith. This is technically true. Yes, I am. Come on, I'm not some peasant. I'm Sir Radzik's blacksmith and I need to speak with him. It's my job to stop you. Now bugger off. No! I have to tell him what happened to my sword. I may not look the part, but I know about honour and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then. Oh, Go ahead. All right. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. Okay, th thank you. Thank you. Because I really didn't relish the idea of having to try and intimidate you. And didn't actually think I was going to be able to, so I wasn't actually going to try. Right, so I'm here, and I need to go here to talk to Sir Radzik. There's plenty of other things to explore, but I would say... Uh, quest giver. I would say, overall, I put this off... Stephen. Hello, Stephen. How? What are you doing here? I took you for dead. Do I know you? Oh, it's a long story. But what about you? How did you get out of Scalitz? You wouldn't believe it. A frightful storm broke that night, and Sigismund's heathens ran back to their camp. They never dreamed Zerazzi would use the storm as cover for our escape. The entire village slipped away as quiet as mice while no one watched. In the morning, when those bandits attacked, all they found was an empty castle with an old goat inside. <laughs> I wish I could have seen their faces. Yeah, so do I. You trick them nicely. See you later. But out of curiosity, why is he why is he on these knees with Stephen? Good day to you. Do, do, are you all right? What actually happened? Good. Just, just, just. Did you find out what actually happened? They say Sigismund is at war with the Czech lords and abducted the king, and our lord sides with Wenceslas. All right. Uh, so how's life here? How does life in Ratai suit you? And them ratty folk would rather drive us out of here. They won't give us no work, and they won't let us beg. So what are we supposed to do? Fucking war. You looked like you were begging. And honestly, I'm no, feeling really. a little sorry for you, and I'm kind of thinking I should just... I kind of want to give him some cash and say, Hey, dude, get off your knees. You're kind of, you're kind of embarrassing the Scalitz crew here. Yes, you are. Alright. So. Hello. Townsman. Oh. Okay, was that him coming out of the... Could that be the smith's son, Hal? On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. Oh, I've got to see. I was attacked by bats. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. No, I'm, I'm off to see Sir Radzik, actually. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. Yes, you do. I'm no. wearing one, but... Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Eddie. So I'm allowed to go and see Sir Radzik. That it's just a townsman. Um, where where exactly is dead ahead? Up here. That looks like you're guarding this place. Whoa, whoa. I'm feeling a little squeamish. Okay, yes, indeed. All right. I'm. Was it? Was it? Don't lock pick. Am I heading in the wrong direction? Is it up there? It might be up there. I, I feel it's up there. My, my, my blacksmith instincts are telling me it's this way. Yes, indeed. Okay. Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pitstein is yours for as long as you need it. 
There's room enough for your men and you here at Rattay, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honoured. Perkstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Hanosh. Mm. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realize just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. <laughs> What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. But to give him his due, don't I have don't history think books, I guess. The lords of this country to stand behind the king, but thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why, in God's name, does he have to use those barbarians? Because they're available. Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights. So he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You've no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. See? Henry, Friends who disappeared in high places. after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. And who? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. Like him. Uh, Ooh, I'm in trouble. Your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? Yes. No. No, oh, didn't I? I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without a robard, we'd both be dead. Well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still. It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, Oi. friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. Yes! I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated <laughs> ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour, and a dead man keeps no promises. Aye. A woman had to save his fat from the fire, and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. 
please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him! Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion! Don't like him. Sir Capon's right. Don't like him either. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Besides, I actually was ordered Henry's to flee. Henry's punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything, hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. How about Besides, flowers? That was a fine I've got flowers as well. Made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. Don't like you, you can't either, make a but then we all knew that. Peasant? Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. Loving him! He's a peasant father, he's a blacksmith. And him. Recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? So, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh, I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear, you're the one paying him. <laughs> I'm getting paid? Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. Ooh. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Um, I might.